Ah, one of the all-time greats. Welcome back. We tend to fear what we don't understand. That's what Dionne Warwick's grandfather told her years ago. A good observation that's been helpful to this native of East Orange, New Jersey. She is no stranger to the phenomenon of success. Dionne Warwick, thanks so much for being here. My pleasure. We're at 396-WNYW if you want to give her a call. A hometown girl, East Orange. That's me. <laughs> Me. Now, I asked you when you sat down here, I said, are, are, you, are we bugging you by saying all of this prediction stuff? Deanna's going to come out of here well, and tell... Listen, it's like I tell you, I'm not a psychic. That's the first thing <laughs> I want to clarify. I do not. And, but I will tell you whatever you want. No. <laughs> you, you know, people walk up to me all the time. Am I going to hit the lottery? Um, <laughs> what am I going to do tomorrow? Is, 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 am I going to marry this person? I said, what is it that you want to do? You know, you're the one in control of that. Yeah, well, well, our assignment desk wants to know if the Yankees are going to win. I don't know. <laughs> and, and who you're rooting for. Are you a oh, Yankee fan? Of course fan? I'm, I'm for the uh, Yankees, oh. and, and anybody with mouse range should be for the Yankees. Uh, of course. But I, I, uh, if I knew that, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you today. I know. You'd I'd be, be in Las Vegas. <laughs> That's book. <laughs> yeah, but the psychic network, uh, 60 Minutes, I love it, it calls it the Godzilla of infomercials. They say that the, there will never be an infomercial to match that because it was taking in like a million and a half dollars a, a, a week. And yeah, very, very successful. It really, I mean, I don't think anybody's more surprised than the creator of the, the show itself, Linda Georgian, who is the psychic by the way, folks. She is the psychic. Uh, she is the psychic. And, the and now what about men. the people answering the phones? We always have questions. Are these really yes, psychics? They are. they are psychics? They certainly and are. They're all interviewed by Linda. Uh -huh. And her prerequisites and standards are what they have to meet. And the primary one, which is obviously why I'm still involved with them, is that they put God first. Uh -huh. And everything is obviously derived from God. Hmm. And these are people who have been given a very special gift and had been able to really tune in and help some people that have been seeking it. You know, we're right. talking about close to 12, 14 million repeat callers and they wouldn't keep calling if they wouldn't get results. Well, I guess. Tracy from Brooklyn, you've got a question or comment for Dion? Yes. Hi, Dion. Hi, Hi. Carol. Hi. Um, I would like to know, how did you first get started um, being interested in the psychic phenomena? <laughs> well, I think uh, it stems from um, just being curious and having fun. I mean, I used to go to Coney Island a lot, uh, Rye Beach a lot, uh, and, you know, they all have these little... And so it came from that? From well, that and, yeah. and the fact that, you know, in our churches, and I'm sure you're familiar with this, sure. that... Uh, the elders have on many occasions says, oh, they were born with a veil over their face, huh? which gives them the aptitude to be able to, to predict and to see things that are good and that, or not for you. And then we have these certain ministers who profess to be um, psychically bound with, by the word of God. So it's a legitimate long-term interest oh, in, yeah. in, and in I'm, the psychic I'm, phenomena. I'm curious, and I want to know. You want to <laughs> tell me. You know, I'm, I'm not afraid of... of now, I want to know, you were telling me before that, uh, never mind the psychic thing, but I really should be jealous because I asked you if the move to Brazil was complete. <laughs> yes, it certainly is. It's been complete for almost two and a half years. Now, now tell us why you left, meaning your primary residence is now out of this country. You're yes. I... I left because it's where I need to be right now, and that's basically well, the answer. Because the, the fans it are? It is a case of I fell in love with the country. I fell in love with the country's people because everybody knows people make a country, and of course the music. And it you recorded a, a Brazilian album. Yes, I did, yeah. and I uh, intend to do more of that. I just feel exceptionally comfortable there. Is it a rejection of the United States? Not, do you feel I am you a U.S. citizen. Uncomfortable here? Not at all. No, 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 no. That, that it was a better I, place. I want everybody to be. understand that. Um, like you asked the question, you didn't even know I was gone. So I mean, that's really the answer. Because you're still, you still come I'm back. Still and here. You, you're. I am a citizen of the United States of America. Right. I have a passport. I can travel anywhere I want to travel and stay as long as I want to stay. Fortunately, I embraced a country that embraced me back. Huh. I want you to know that when I was in college, 
I had a boyfriend who was madly in love with you. Why he was going out with me, I don't know. But he would, go, he would buy all of your albums, play all of your albums. So that's how I first came to, to love you in your, in your work. Well, he was, in, he was introducing you to <laughs> what made him tick. And I was saying the things he wanted to say to you, baby. Come on. That's and I, I tell you, he dragged me to every concert within the, the continental United States oh, that's of, of yours. I'm a long, long time fan. Thank and you. And now you're speaking tonight at the Learning Addicts. Yes. You are lecturing. What, what, at the Doubletree Hotel? At the Doubletree, yes. Uh -huh. and, uh, well, they've asked me to speak about a subject I kind of am very, very intimate with, and that's me. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the things that have um, occurred during the course of my life, how I handle certain situations. Uh, and um, the most important thing that I'm going to share with not only them but you as well, um, my grammar school, which is Lincoln School in East Orange, will be renamed oh, the Dion Warwick Economical and entrepreneurial school. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, I'm Nothing, I mean, short of the birth of both of my children and my first Grammy can really outdo this. This is um, the most magical and wonderful thing that could ever happen to me. Well, I thank you so much. Congratulations thank for that. You. And uh, thank you for stopping by the studio today. Pleasure. Dionne Warwick. Well, we have a breaking story to uh, tell you about right now. A case will introduce you to an expert who says it's easy if you follow a few simple steps. I'll be listening. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, Dion.